and we're back so this is another customer request he wanted us to record a video and here it is uh, but we've been wanting to make this type of videos for a while so as you guys can see we have a Nintendo switch there it's a re regular original Nintendo switch I don't know I think it's a version 1 or version 2 and uh, it's not docking so as you guys probably already know the uh, problem with the docking issue is usually related to with this chip the Pi 3 USB chip the one that's uh, there on the video the first thing I like to do is make sure that the filters are good so we're gonna do that sometimes even if the chip is good sometimes we get a better filter and uh, simply by repla replacing the filter then we can get back to working in working condition so filters are these we're gonna make sure that um, the filters are good by checking its continuity and I don't know if you guys can hear the beep but I can so hopefully you guys can see here that was good 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 so the filters are good we also check the USB port USB port looks good and it is taking the amp so everything is working except for the the docking function alright so sometimes it's it's always a good idea to check for shorts here especially near the chip but there's no shorts I already checked so we're gonna get to uh, replacing this chip right away that's what we're gonna be replacing we do have a brand new chip here on the side Give me one second. So this is the chip. I like to prepare the chips right before we install them and I'll show you guys how. It makes it a lot easier. That way we don't have to go and preheat the board twice or, or anything like that. We can simply swap them out. This is the correct chip, yes. So here's the chip. We are going to prepare the pins on this chip by adding some uh, some flux. And how do we prepare them? You might be asking. We simply touch the pins. with some solder like uh, like this so that side is done that side is done that side is done as well maybe just a little bit in the middle that's too much so we can just clean that up we're just trying to absorb the solder here with a without having to use uh, copper or anything like that that looks pretty good I mean if we wanted we could use some some of this um, copper wire to to remove that I'm just aiming for the center and uh, pick up nothing that looks pretty good all right the chip is ready as you can see so the chip is pre tinned and we are going to move it aside
The pass looked good. And we're going to put it aside. We're going to bring the board in. And we're just going to leave the chip next to it so that we can easily replace it. We're going to put that chip right here. Apply some flux on the original chip. So 95% of the time replacing this chip will fix the docking issue. We are going to replace it. And unfortunately we don't have a camera set up to test this in front of you guys. But I am confident that it will work. And so you guys should be too. <laughs> Alright, let me set this uh let me just zoom in on the camera and uh, my, my my microscope as well. I think that's pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and start with the heat. We are heading it with uh, 820. And the uh, air is 28. 28% here. The ship keeps wanting to fly away, so I'm just going to move it to the side. At this point, we just got to watch the solder and be patient. We don't want to overheat the board. We just want to get it just right. Pretty soon, we're going to be able to lift that, that shit. So the chip has been removed. Maybe we can put a little bit of flux. And the other chip is in place. So at this point we just got away. This is the old chip. And that is the new chip. We don't have to retouch those pins because the way this ship is made, it, they, uh, they solder from underneath. You see that? So it's not a, a hard replacement. You just got to be careful when you're doing it. And this is the way you repair that docking problem. In the future, we'll make the setup here so that we can test the uh, systems as we go. We also have some plans to set up the top view camera so we can start showing you guys a little more details and uh, this assembly and all that stuff even though we just want to get to the point and maybe show you guys how this is done um, fast and efficiently let's turn this around so you guys can see that it's soldered properly 
perfectly there, perfectly there, and perfectly there. We can clean it with a little bit of alcohol, but I'm going to wait for it to cool off. And then clean it. And then we'll test it and uh, send it to the customer. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And we'll see you guys again in the next time.